And I look beautiful today. Moms, get out of my closet. Don't move anything, please. I just organized everything. No, I don't. Don't worry. Mom, don't touch my stuff, please, please. I don't touch it. Just take it. Look how beautiful I look today. Okay. So today, I'm going to show you how to do one of my favorite looks for summer. <laughs> get out, Mom. This is about me. Go cook I know, something. I don't do anything. Today, I'm going to show you one of my favorite summer makeups. I call it... Okay, I'm look down into that. Okay, right. My mom is telling me to pull my boobs up because they're sagging. I happen to like the little bit of a drop. I do have to work more on doing my boob exercises, so let's just start You're here in the morning. Like a watermelon. Hello, honey. I am so proud of myself because I actually survived my first ever makeup tutorial. Where's the lash? Shut up! So a whole lot of you asked about dewy makeup, and I love that because I really embrace my skin and I wanna show more of it as possible through makeup. I actually don't like a bake, so that made me excited to share with you exactly how I do a dewy face. But I'm also going to add a summer marmalade lip. As usual, I'm gonna list every single thing I use so you can look below and click on the links if you wanna buy it. The first thing I do is really prep my skin in the morning. If you've seen my skincare routine, you can see exactly how I went to make sure that my skin looks super rejuvenated and moist with water locked in. And I did an extra coffee grind scrub today, so it's just really alert. Okay, first thing I do is I put on sunscreen. Asian, no raisin. So I like to use a 50 just to make sure I really give myself some protection. I like this brand the most because I actually can feel it lock in as a base. It's Peel MD. I got it at a doctor's office and I think it's the best. I like to do it right under underneath my eye most because that's the area where I can get sunspots. So just remember sunblock before any look. I care about you and I care about your youthful, beautiful face. I love dewy makeup. When you can see the texture of your skin, you feel good. You feel like you can touch your face. So I'm glad you guys picked dewy skin makeup because it's one of my favorites. So next thing, moisturizer. Sunscreen is not moisturizer. I like to wear a separate sunscreen with a separate moisturizer. Believe Hungarian water essence. I don't know what's Hungarian about it, but it's amazing. Comes out in a gel form like this, and I just like to lightly massage this into my skin and definitely get this highlight area, because that's where you want that dewiness to show. This is prime real estate right there. I love this product so much, dude. It kind of feels like a serum, but it not and it really locks in the sunscreen, so you have two separate layers. Sunscreen to protect your main part of your skin, and then the Hungarian water essence. What is Hungarian about it? I'm going to Hungary this year, though. I'm so excited, I'm going to Budapest. If you ask people from Hungary to say Budapest, they say Budapest, okay, okay, okay. Make sure you put it in your neck too, make the same color, otherwise you have two tones. It was moisturizer, not foundation. It's still. Can you mind your own business, please? Whatever. Now, <sighs> I'm showing you this because I love it so much. This is a product that they use out in the country called Bag Bomb. Think of like an intense Vaseline, right? Somebody genius gave me a little scoop of it. No, yeah, no, it was me. Okay, so this farmer ended up giving me a little scoop of it. I took it home and I was like in love with it because I put it on my knuckles, I put it on my heels, and you don't have to moisturize for days. They used to sell it at like major makeup stores, but now they sell it at CVS and Walgreens. You can Amazon it too. Oh my God, don't break your acrylics opening it. Oh, it melted. Oh no, I got it all under my nail. I hate when you get things under your acrylics. Don't waste, scrape it back in, don't waste. And I use this on my lips, and oh my god, if you brush your lips with your toothbrush, if you need to exfoliate anything, you don't have to moisturize for days after this. It's amazing. I wouldn't put it on your face because your skin can't breathe through it because it's such a sealant, but it's awesome. Bag bomb. Farmers know best. Wash, wash, wash. Now we're gonna go into foundation. When I worked at the mount counter as a wee little makeup artist, my favorite foundation that was super see-through and sheer was the MAC Studio Face and Body. Super lightweight, sheer silk on your face. It gives you just enough coverage to even things out. Almost like the IG Story filter. You know the purple one with the stars and all of a sudden you're like, ooh, it just looks so like lightweight and fresh. You definitely go backwards like 10 years using this foundation. I love it. I'm using C5, although I'm gonna be honest, I'm a C4 right now because I haven't been in the sun. Then I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Start in the areas I want more coverage, which is right down the center. This is such a bomb foundation for dewy makeup because it finishes with a dewy touch and you can still see your freckles and your little like spots and, and you know, moments in your face that look like, I'm so young, I frolic 
and I smell the flowers and I so sound of music. Oh my god, this brings back so many memories when I worked at the Mac counter because this was everything. And you can also water down your foundations that you use if you need a little bit more coverage but you want that dewy effect. Just do half and half of this. So I'm gonna go a little bit more here around the center of my nose. I also love the process of a dewy face because it's just soft. You just is that a hickey? What is that? I look like a teenager from the mall, like somebody sucked on my neck. I swear that's not a hickey. What is that? You know I used to have a tattoo on my neck and I got it removed? She sucked a bad girl. After I pat, pat, patted my foundation in, I have this bruise from opening a cabinet door on my forehead, but you know what? I don't even care. I'm just gonna leave it because, no, I should cover it. It actually looks bad. So let's do another layer of face and body just on that area. Now the great thing about face and body is it's stackable, which means as you add layer and layer, it doesn't actually look like you put more makeup on. It just gives you a nice, perfect sheer finish. Say honey, no more for you. It's something I did to myself, so boom. Owning it. Now my skin is prepped. I'm going to move in into concealer. Because I'm doing a nice pop lip, I really want good lighting on my skin. So I wanna make sure that I put the right highlighter so I really have my skin illuminate. I'm going to use my oil-free CC Plus SPF 40 foundation in order to cover as a concealer. Use the same beauty blender. I'm gonna use just the tip, just a bit of the highlighter, and I'm gonna go in a little triangle below my eye and right next to my nose. I like my triangle to be about that shape because I like my face to look more V. When it comes to highlighter, the number one rule of thumb is to highlight in a heart shape, like that. When you highlight, you wanna think a little bit on the forehead, a lot on the cheek and a little bit on the chin so that center of light glows oh, right there. Mama Mai, are you listening? Because you don't do this well and sometimes you highlight too much. Well, I try to do it from brow face to become a V line. I do the same thing like a hot shape like you too. Okay, good. So you're learning from me. You're welcome. So I'm going to use a mini miniature beauty blender to get this blend underneath my eye, just right, like that. And I also like to make sure that I get a little bit on the bridge of my nose, my T-zone, just like that. <coughs> Blending it all together like that. A little in the forehead, a little on the chin. Again, everything in a V-shape, like that. With dewy makeup, you gotta make sure you blend really well, you guys. You don't want any blotchiness, you don't wanna see streaks of face. Next thing I do for my dewy look is to set with powder. But remember, you have to go really minimal with powder, otherwise you remove the whole effect of that dewiness from all of your work. I'm going to take a banana powder, it's everybody's favorite, and I put a little bit into the lid, just so you have a touch like this. And then I'm gonna use my beauty blender. Look how much I'm touching, I'm You guys, I'm so sorry about the garbage trucks passing by. It's trash day. But it does remind me of my favorite quote on the gram. When it comes to your exes, move on. You don't go back and check in on them. You don't stalk them on the gram. You don't ask people how they're doing. It's just like your trash. When you throw it out, do you go back and check on it? Unless your mama lie. Whatever. You're welcome, my grasshoppers. So I'm gonna go right underneath this eye here, just like that. I like to mat out this area because I want my nose to be prominent, so I don't want to glow here. Basically, your powdering is kind of like a semi-contour. Contour, you draw inwards. When you contour your cheekbones, you want your face to concave a bit there. So think of powder taking away that sheer finish of the foundation to concave your face a bit. And then underneath my mustache, because that's where I sweat sometimes, and then underneath my chin. I always leave the tip of your nose a little bit shiny because it's really cute. If you look at Bambi or any like other like Mickey Mouse cute characters, they always have a little bit of a shine right there. It's to make you look innocent and believable. It works. Now that this area is matte, I'm going to put a tiny bit of contour there because I like to show off cheekbones. KKW. I was on the fence about this. I wasn't sure if I wanted to believe the hype. Then Kim Kardashian gave it to me personally and I was like, okay, I think I'm gonna try it. It's actually awesome. First of all, I like paper palette makeup cases because I can travel better with it. And this color really works well on me for the contour. I'm gonna go with a huge kind of a beauty blender shaped brush. That little tip there is so great to get into the bone and chisel. I dip, dip, dip the tip. I always touch the temple because the temple allows you to put all the product there and start to blend it out. If you put it towards the center of your face, you're gonna put too much product in that area. I'm just going to lightly hit up 
that beautiful cheekbone of mine. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, honey. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Kim K, you did a good job on this palette. Last time I showed you this one. Did you see that? I showed you this one. This one is awesome too, but I'm sold out of it, so I'm waiting for it to come into Amazon. Because I like ashy contours. Just like that, just a little bit. I love this brush. I want to tell you, I got it from HCT Brushes. When it comes to skincare and makeup, I will try what people give me. But I'll try something else if somebody suggests something better for me. So let me know, guys, because this is a community and I want to hear from you. I'm obsessed with Candlelight Glow. This is the warm glow from Too Faced. Get your highlight right there. I like to do a dabble. I don't like to do too much. Another one, if they do sell out of this that I really love, is Stardust by Laura Mercier. I like to take my ring finger. We use our ring finger because it's the lightest in touch from the rest of your fingers. And then I just like to tip that little bit of my nose. And then I like a little bit of my Cupid's bow because I'm going to illuminate those lips later on. I'm gonna do a tiny bit of shadow on my eyes. I want to make my eyes appear a little bit larger since I'm not really doing a lash. I'm gonna use my favorite eyeshadow brush in life, which is the 224 from MAC. This is from the Beauty Counter. I like this makeup because they're super responsible and it comes in a paper palette so it's lightweight. Don't contour and do shapes just because you want it to look rainbowed or you just want to cover your eyelid with shadow. You have to feel your bones so that when you're talking and you're moving and you're expressing yourself, it goes with the way your face moves. Here's my crease right there and it goes into right about that area. So I'm going to highlight just about that area lightly. Make it look younger. Sable on the outside, suede on the inside. I'm also going to take it and just do a little bit of a V shape on the outside of my eyes because it makes your eyes look like that. My favorite lip color for my summer marmalade lip is going to be based around Relentlessly Red, one of my favorite lip colors I've discovered from MAC. I like red with a sheer touch of orange. I think that when you see marmalades, when you you know are at brunch with your friends and you guys are talking about like how you've been looking, how you've been feeling, you're sipping rosé, you feel so sexy and light. Marmalade, when you open it, has like the succulent, juicy thickness. I want my lips to look the same way. So Relentlessly Red is a beautiful finish. I'm going to use this liner. It's LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. It's called Relentless Red. Shut up. That's so crazy. Relentless Red from a completely different brand matching my MAC. This is crazy. When I line my lips, do I overline? Duh. However, here's my thing about lining lips. You do not line the outer edges of your lips. You always line the cupid's bow and a little bit overline the bottom. How do I explain this? Just say so you don't want to look like a joker <laughs> on, on the Batman. Don't look like joker, and that happens when you line the outside of your lips. This is on my lip line. Make like a hot chef, beautiful and sexy. No, I don't Ready like the way you kiss, line your whatever. Lips. Guys, if you ever want me to have my mom line my lips versus the way I lined her lips, it's so much better. I'll ask you to vote. Okay, so that's half on, half off. See the difference? Look at how big that peak looks versus that peak right there. That's one is good. I buy one dollar store. It works well. Shh. Notice that I draw it into the corners of my mouth exactly where it is, but I exaggerated it from the top. So the explosion of lips should be towards the center, never the sides. Or you look like who, Mom? Joker, Batman, Cloud. A, a what? Like a cloud. Spell that. C. Cloud. C L O W N. Is it cloud? Cloud? Wait, why do you know the how? Sister, the cloud from the circuit. I know, but how come you know how to spell the N, but you don't say it when you say it? Say it again now that you know the N is there. Say it with the N. Cloud. Why, what's wrong? That's a cloud. Cloud. Circuit. No, clown. Clown. Whatever, hurry up, we don't have time. My gosh, I fall to sleep now. Okay, 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 okay. Here it goes, relentless red. Pink. It is, it's not pink. You look like a darling partner. She just look at my day, you keep it up. Now, just to get a little bit of that gloss that you see in an actual jar of marmalade, I'm going to put OB Orange from MAC at the very center. Like that, honey. Your lip look like Kim Kardashian. I like having juicy lips. Yeah, that's why it look like Kim Kardashian. The one where you get a bit ass. <laughs> oh my God. That's the one. This is my summer dewy look with my marmalade lip. Let me know below what next makeup tutorial you want to see. Thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you for hitting the notification bell. And don't forget you can shop any of these products by clicking on the link below. See you in summer. Wait, it's summer right now. 
Mom, say bye. Goodbye.